Hey everybody, this is the Geek Gear Wizardry unboxing from July. As we've all seen, we're all posting our videos here lately. And Geek Gear has done something different with this month's shirt. It came in a bag. I've never gotten a shirt in a bag, so that was kind of a fun little treat. And as we all know, this is the Patronus looking shirt with the deer on there. And we got the Luna Lovegood Nargle Keep Away necklace. And we got the birthday cake since July was Harry's birthday, which I think is the coolest thing of the whole box. Way to go, Geek Gear. That was a good move. Keep stepping it up like that. Uh, we got another proclamation. This is number 157. I have all them printed out. So these are a little bit bigger than what I need them for. Then we have this month's license print, which I agree with Cherry Wallace. I'm not a big fan of the colors they used. It seems like a good idea for what they were going for with the Golden Trio, but wrong colors. So I agree with Cherry Willis on that. Yeah, not a big fan of the colors. Geek Gear, uh, quit using the Valentine-like colors on the prints. Yeah, that's kind of old now. Next. Then we got the Lolly. As you can see. Sorry about the glare. But that's the magical treats lolly we got this month. Not a big fan of the lollies. I don't do all the treats. I think it's cool that they send us the little treats, but I wasn't a fan when they send all the the sherbet lemons and stuff like that. The chocolate frogs were pretty good. The fudge seemed pretty good. I don't do the teas. And this month's tea was um, a Moroccan mint green tea. I'd rather see teas come in than a bunch of bath bombs because I don't do the bath bombs, but at least once in a blue moon I'll try some of the teas. I'm just not a fan of every blend like most folks. But that was pretty much the entire box. I cheated and watched Cherry's video to see what I was getting. and. Quite frankly, out of everything in the box, although I think the necklace was a nice idea and it was something that they haven't done before, it's not something I'll keep. I don't really get into a bunch of, you know, animal shirts either, but I might keep that. But I am definitely keeping the birthday cake. I think we are all keeping the birthday cake gear. That was a good touch. I definitely liked it. The birthday cake so we need to see more products like that that would be pretty wicked I love the idea of the necklace because it's something that I haven't seen done before but somebody told me that I think somebody's touched on it before so if they keep coming up with more newer stuff from the movies that nobody else has done then I will be ecstatic I'll be even more ecstatic if we can move away from the Valentine's kind of like colors, like Cherry Wallace said, Geek Gear. Uh, yeah, enough is enough with that. I'd like to see a little more Death Eater action going on for uh, the Slytherins out there, because I do like the Slytherin stuff. I'm a Ravenclaw, so, you know, I'm always looking for Ravenclaw stuff, but, um, yeah, some more Slytherin-like stuff would be cool, like... Oh, I don't know, miniature death mask. You know, that would be cool. I'd like to see something like that. You know, next month's House Pride. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe we won't. We never know what get gear. But if we all keep expressing our opinions, what we'd like to see, maybe they'll listen, maybe they'll give it to us, maybe they won't. We don't know. But... If they keep putting these shirts in these uh, safety plastics, that is a great idea. Because I love how they wrap our boxes in the weatherproof bags. 
And now they're going to do the same thing with our shirts. I'm going to love that idea. So that's pretty cool. But that's July's box. And I can't wait to see what the House Pride box will be like. Hopefully it's something we will all enjoy more of. But there you go. And make sure that if you like the video, subscribe, share, follow, all of that. Thank you very much.